Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. We're out on a nice evening or actually afternoon Saturday ride in the Land Rover and as you can see we got the hood open so we'll have to do some stuff. Actually we heard a little bit of a funny sound and I just pulled over in the grass right away before things actually got escalated uh, and um, what we figured out here was we got a lot of basically fluid all over the place. I don't know if you can see it but here it is it's all wet. And same thing here, uh, all over the place. Same thing underneath the car down here. It's actually all wet as well. Turns out to be uh, anti-ice fluid or cooling fluid. So if you look at it here, it actually broke and it ran out. I actually stopped it in time, so it's not that hot. Pulling out this part, as you can see, I just realized that it's actually the hose up here that's connected in behind here somewhere but I can't see where it is at the moment so I can't tell you exactly what the problem is but this is the problem and uh, with it the event came out as well and it's completely uh, deteriorated over the time it's actually so bad that you can take it apart with your fingers like this and see exactly like that it's completely dry rotted basically look <laughs> it's absolutely useless as it is right now um, it could be on top of the um, thermostat housing as well you might want to go ahead and change that whenever you have a time for it so you don't get stuck like I am right now here in the middle of the road <laughs> pretty far from home and I need a tow so um, this is where we're gonna start and this is how it looks like when you're a little bit unlucky in a Land Rover and you're out there so uh, let's stay tuned for this Tech Tuesday it's gonna be interesting to go ahead and fix this car so uh, let's hope we don't have, blown, have a blown head gasket as well uh, yesterday uh, as I said when I started the video um, we had a little bit of a uh, mishap out in the middle of the road. It's been driving for a little bit and uh, we had all the coolant hanging all over the place. There's still a little bit of residue here hanging from it. And there's also some residue down underneath, but uh, now we got it solved. Well, anyway, I ordered a tow to go home to uh, come back with this video later on. Um, however, sometimes when you're in the middle of the nowhere area, so you get some blessings and people, they stop up and ask you if you need a favor. And that was actually a very nice couple. Keith and his wife that stopped up and said, do you need help? Say, yeah, I would like to have a bit of water to keep the uh, engine cool so I could preserve my uh, head gasket without that actually going out because I could see that the uh, coolant was uh, missing on that part. Anyway, it turns out that he has everything available. So uh, within a few uh, minutes, we got the cover off, as you can see, and um, could figure out that it was actually the air coolant vent on the top of the cooling system to let out the air. Uh, and also to let the water pass through if the uh, thermostat doesn't work. Anyway, it is here and for some reason uh, the car comes from a country where they have the best steel in the world. They elected to make this out of plastic and uh, within the years over, well over the last many years, this turns out to be dry rotted and it's actually really, really in a bad shape. So if you have one of those on your Land Rovers and it's more than 10 years old, I highly recommend you to buy one. It's actually only $14 on uh, Amazon and I'll put the link in the description below so you can see where to get it. And it takes a split second to take these two hoses apart. And you can actually do it with your fingers without a plier as well because it's just put on there with two clamp hoses and that's it, and two clamps. And um, that's basically what is on there. Anyway, this broke while we were driving yesterday and it could have cost the uh, head gaskets too if I was actually running out of coolant. Now, I ordered this and it'll be back in about another few days and uh, then we'll uh, put that in and uh, you'll see that later. Anyway, what I did initially to fix it, we put in a small copper piece in here and put it back together, got the air out as good as we could and then we put some uh, new coolant in and that was how we hauled it home. The car runs really well, not a problem at all and there's nothing wrong with it. It just needs a new air valve so I can get the air out of the system later. So it's not optimum, but it works and uh, it runs just like it did before. So if you hear some funny noises or get water coming out somewhere, just pull over to the side of the road. Don't risk it because you're going to aim for a bigger job if you go ahead and blow those head, head gaskets as well. Anyway, um, stay tuned and we'll get this mounted in a heartbeat. It's a little bit of sobo product that we have with the coolant air valve on the Land Rover is now almost getting and coming to an end. I just received the spare parts this morning and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it in. It's the General Land Rover coolant hose air bleed valve. It's brand new, made in England as it says here in Britain. And uh, this is how it looks like. It is completely plastic, all of it, and it's located right there. What I have in here right now is actually a 
a piece of copper that goes in between that a very very nice uh, and friendly soul you know met me on the highway and uh, he apparently had that in his barn so we got it all put together temporarily and uh filled up with all the fluid again so we could actually more or less limb home and uh, so after we limped home this has been running like this for a couple of days three days and it's actually doing pretty well also with the fluid over here so um i can't really complain at all but i'm gonna put it back in with the uh, new air valve and we're gonna do that right this moment so it's back to normal standards and uh i will say though it's only a 14 dollar piece of equipment that you're looking at here a spare part and um it's probably worth it to get one if your car is more than 10 years old this plastic uh, that goes left uh, back and forth here or the connection in between it's simply just uh, dry rot and deteriorate over time and then suddenly it just explodes and then you have it all over the ending compartment and no cooling on it and if you don't catch it in time it might actually cost you a head gasket or two as well and then you're looking at serious uh, maintenance charges after that to get it fixed again so uh, I highly recommend you to go ahead and change this it doesn't cost much and it only takes a few minutes so here's how you do it attempt to change this when it's hot mine is lukewarm right now and if it is then you can always take this off and see if you have an additional amount of pressure in here there's a little bit not a lot I think so we'll have a look nah not really so that's good I just leave it off that way I know there's no pressure in it if you need a pair of pliers to go ahead and lift these two let's see here hose clamps off with and mine is a little different now because I got a different piece in there so uh, let's see how that goes what you can do is you can put a vice grip on I'm gonna do that now on one of them and then I'm gonna keep the other one up until I have it in and then I'm gonna change it around so we'll do that so here's the vice grip I'm gonna put that on this one here and I know that some of you guys say, well, couldn't you find something that was a little bigger? Well, I couldn't. <laughs> and this is what we got so far. And that's what we're going to use. So let's see how it goes. There we are. <clears throat> take this one out. Here we go. This is the new one. And if you want, you can always take it off. But I'm going to put it in first and then see what happens. Here goes the plastic part and plastic piece. <clears throat> Then make sure you get your hose clamps back up into place where they were. I'll take out my little copper piece here as well. This is what we put in. And actually I'm going to save this because you never know if we're going to need it again at some point. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do in this case. <clears throat> put that one in here. There we are. Take the vice grip off. And uh, now you're basically done. We just need to get the... Uh, Go the hose clamps back on, and I'm gonna turn it so it doesn't touch anything. There we go, and that's basically it. Now it's all changed. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the pressure back on it again, and then I'm gonna open up for this one and bleed it out, and then we're done with that. So uh, let's try that too. So here we are, uh, since I, ju I just took it off right now and a little bit wet, since I do have plenty of fluid in my car and you can see it's coming out, I'm going to use it as a pump so I'm going to squeeze this one but until it comes up here and hold it one more time, use it as a pump. As soon as I get water or cooling water coming out, that's when I'm going to put on this little head here and it should be taking care of the rest. Now I know I got got water or coolant in the system and then that's it it's a little bit messy but it doesn't matter there we go make sure you put your hose clamps in a place where they don't bother anything there we go and that's it That's the end of that. This little metal piece or copper piece is now taken out. 
and this is the new um, hose of uh, the coolant air valve or the hose bleed air valve uh, put in the system and uh, now it's ready to go out and drive I'll just clean up the uh, ending compartment put in the rest and we're gonna go for a test drive and uh, that's about it so so just a uh, thumbs up to everybody who's out there with a Land Rover you might want to go ahead and buy one of those they don't cost much uh, but the valve when it breaks is not really fun because you're stuck right there on the road and can't go anywhere else so I hope you enjoyed it this is the end of the uh, coolant air valve change and um, Stay safe out there, drive nicely, hit the like and subscribe button, I'll come back with another video as soon as I have one. See you later.